We are not Africans. All right. We are possessed by spirits and demons. Mm. We have let another people's spirit take possession of our bodies and take possession of our minds. When we speak, it is not with our African voice. It is with the voice of that demonic presence that uses our lips to speak its own language. Yes. Yes, and we have to recognize this. We are possessed. And if we are to transform ourselves and to transform that the nature of our relationship with those who are our masters, we must engage in an exorcism and clear the devils out of our minds. And at this time, then, it'll pay you to, to read a little bit about demonic possession. And you have to be demonically, we have to be demonically possessed. Because if we talk about black on black violence, self-defeating behavior, self-destructive behavior, then we could not be possessed by a beautiful and wonderful God. We must be possessed by a demon. It's interesting to look at the literature on possession. We have uh, several, uh, a couple of types of possession. One is called a somnambulistic possession. Somnambulistic. Soma, in this instance, having to do with uh, sleep. You hear it in the word somnex. You know, ambulistic to move around, ambulatory. Right. So we are talking about people who are what? Sleepwalking. Not a, you know, they're not awake, but they're walking around. The body is moving and it is walking in an organized fashion and walking systematically, but the person is still asleep. And in somnambulistic uh, possession then, the individual's original self has been repressed and displaced and the spirit, and he identifies with the spirit that possesses him. And his eye and the spirit's eye are one and the same. And we have a lot of that here today. Where the spirit that has been implanted in us, we have taken to be us. And we've identified with it. That is why in, in defending ourselves, we end up defending the people who rule over us. In defending our ego, we end up maintaining the social structure that has destroyed our ego to begin with. And you see it in our youngsters who will fight and kill in the name of respect and fight because their egotistic uh, orientation has been insulted. And therefore, in defending their ego, they do not kill the people who destroyed their ego. They kill each other. And maintain the ones who destroyed them in the first place in power. And that's why the subtitle of my book, Black on Black Violence, was Black Self-Annihilation in Service of White Domination. We are killing each other in order to maintain this system. We have let ourselves become possessed by a spirit such that when we become aggressive, we aggress against the self instead of those who are the source of our aggressive orientation. 